Hello and welcome back and here is my um, video of putting the boxes together. Now when you first open them you might find there's a little bit of discolouring that's because of the heat of the laser combined with the um, air that is blown over the laser itself to cool it down which prevents fires. Um, it forms like a condensation like a treacle that blows over the top of the MDF and we clean our laser beds every week so there isn't a lot of it but sometimes it can build up uh, when I've been cutting quite a bit so if you don't like that sort of look just take the fine grey sandpaper rub it over the top and there's nothing there so it's easily done so some people like the look of that because it looks quite grungy if it's in steampunk things but um, if you don't like that look then that's the way to get rid of it right where do we start I've got a base here with the four castellated sides and I'm just going to pop some glue along the edges. Now this glue is a very very thick PVA glue. Anything that's that's for paper or wood would be fine because it is like a wood pulp this MDF. Now there's two sides you see one is slightly deeper than the other doesn't matter which side you put them in on at the moment. I'll pop that on like that. Like that. Now these don't fit as tight as some boxes that I make. And the reason that I do it is, and I'll just talk this through, um, you've got a short side there and a long side. I'll come back to the painting in a minute. The, the short side and the long side. The short side is the back and needs to be where the mechanism is for the lid. So the shorter side goes where the hole is. I'll put some more glue. Right, going back to the painting. People tend to like to put layers and layers and layers of paint onto boxes. They stamp them, they stencil them, they paint them with the initial colour. And sometimes, even if you've coated it first with PVA, which is a good idea to do if you're going to be doing a lot of inks and paints etc coat the whole thing before you even put it together paint it with a very fine uh, a thin pva glue and especially around the sides because that's that's the problem they blow and what what by that i mean they expand they fill with water and they expand and they can crack because that's the cut side that's just wood pulp inside and the paint can sometimes um, just fill it and make it expand so before you start to do anything, if you know you're going to put a lot of paint on it, put a key on it. You can, you can actually buy MDF primers, but you don't need to buy those, just PVA glue is fine. So just place it in position, pop the lid on the one side and just drop that into the other hole on the other side, just as you finally push it together. And there's your little box. Now you need to leave that for a couple of hours to make sure it is nice and solid, but a tip if you're worried about the, the strength of it, turn it over on its back and just where the edges meet, just put a nice thick amount of glue and that will just hold everything really firmly, really firmly together. And here's one that I made earlier that's nice now and strong and really, really firm. I only made this a couple of hours ago and it's, it's really quite firm, very, very sturdy. Now, what can you do with it when it's like that? Well, you'll find in your kit you've got two boxes and the two boxes fit inside the larger box, uh, which is a nice surprise if you buy somebody a box, they think they've only got one and they've got, actually got three. Um, but what you can do, you can either paint, as I've done here, and I've just done one coat of one colour, the blue, and then I've stenciled on top uh, using fabric and all sorts of things, some stamp pads from uh, card making, um, stencils, mylar stencils, all sorts of things I've put on top of here with different layers of different colours of paint and just made it look a little bit different and then rubbed a silver stamp pad along the edges just to highlight those castellated areas. Now something else you could do, you could fill it with velvet and make a really nice jewellery box. Uh, or use it on your craft stalls and actually display nice little things inside for people to buy beads and bits and pieces. So, have fun, be creative 
and enjoy your craft boxes.